The James Webb Space Telescope has once again shaken the scientific community. Its latest data, released in an emergency bulletin, suggests that the interstellar comet 3I-ATLAS is heading directly toward the Red Planet. For years, astronomers believed this icy traveler from beyond our solar system would simply swing by, offering us a rare chance to study material forged in another star system. But now, recalculated trajectories, cross-checked against Webb's infrared observations, hint at something far more dramatic, a potential impact with Mars. The words collision course have captured headlines, sparking panic, wonder, and a flood of speculation. If confirmed, this would be the first time in human history that we've witnessed an object from another star system slamming into a planet in our neighborhood. The implications are staggering. Could such an event terraform Mars? Could it destroy fragile assets like rovers and orbiters? Or could it reveal secrets about how planets, life, and water itself arrived in our own solar system? Tonight, we dive deep into what Webb has really seen, what scientists are saying, and whether Mars stands at the brink of cosmic catastrophe or unprecedented discovery. To understand the urgency of Webb's findings, we first need to know what 3i slash ATLAS is. Unlike ordinary comets born from the Oort cloud or Kuiper belt, 3i slash ATLAS is interstellar. That means it didn't form here. It comes from another star system entirely. The 3i in its name marks it as the third confirmed interstellar object ever discovered, following Oumuamua in 2017 and 2i-Borisov in 2019. ATLAS refers to the survey telescope in Hawaii that first spotted it in 2024. Early calculations revealed a hyperbolic orbit, proof it wasn't gravitationally bound to our sun. In other words, this comet has been traveling for millions, perhaps billions of years through interstellar space before wandering into our backyard. Webb and ground-based telescopes quickly noted its unusual properties. A coma dominated by carbon dioxide, faint water activity, and a polarization pattern distinct from most solar system comets. Its nucleus is estimated to span several kilometers, large enough to cause planetary scale damage if it ever struck. For scientists, 3 i atlas isn't just a visitor, it's a messenger. It carries chemical fingerprints from another star system, possibly even frozen clues about exoplanetary processes. But now, instead of a mere passerby, it might be on track to violently collide with Mars. The James Webb Space Telescope, with its unmatched infrared sensitivity, has been tracking 3 i atlas since its discovery. Unlike ground observatories, Webb can detect subtle outgassing, jets of CO2 and water vapor, that alter a comet's trajectory. The most shocking revelation came when researchers noticed deviations between predicted and actual positions. Each time Webb checked, the comet seemed slightly off from its expected orbit. At first, scientists attributed this to normal cometary activity, tiny thrusts from sublimating ices. But by mid-2025, the discrepancies grew too large to ignore. The updated trajectory placed 3i slash ATLAS on a dangerously close encounter with Mars, far closer than any prior calculations suggested. Some models now show a direct impact scenario, while others indicate a skim just above the Martian atmosphere. Either outcome would be historic. Webb also confirmed that the comet's coma is unusually CO2 rich compared to typical solar system comets. This composition may affect how sunlight heats it and how gas jets alter its course, making its behavior harder to predict. In short, the Webb telescope has uncovered not just chemistry from another star system, but also the possibility of cosmic chaos. Suddenly, a scientific curiosity has become a planetary threat or opportunity. Mars has always stood as a symbol of exploration, a frontier for rovers, orbiters, and perhaps one day human colonies. But now, the red planet is facing a cosmic bullet. If 3i slash ATLAS is truly on a collision course, the consequences depend heavily on the comet's size and velocity. Current estimates suggest its nucleus spans between 3 and 6 kilometers. That's smaller than the asteroid that wiped out Earth's dinosaurs, but still powerful enough to unleash global-scale devastation. Traveling at nearly 60 kilometers per second, the energy released on impact would equal millions of nuclear bombs detonating simultaneously. Mars, lacking a thick atmosphere, has no real shield against such an event. A strike could carve a crater dozens of kilometers wide, throw dust into the sky for years, and even melt subsurface ice, releasing torrents of water. Paradoxically, that destruction could also create conditions for future habitability, warming the planet, creating temporary lakes, and reshaping its climate. 
For NASA and other space agencies, the threat is twofold. Protect the billion-dollar fleet of orbiters and rovers currently circling or exploring Mars, while also preparing for the once-in-a-lifetime opportunity to study an interstellar collision up close. Before we imagine apocalyptic scenes on Mars, we must confront an uncomfortable truth. Not all scientists agree that a collision is guaranteed. Orbital mechanics is messy business, especially with comets that outgas unpredictably. A jet of CO2 erupting from the surface can nudge the comet thousands of kilometers off its prior path. Right now, there are two competing camps. The first believes Webb's deviations confirm an inevitable strike. The second argues it's still a near miss, with the comet passing close but safely above Mars's atmosphere. Both scenarios depend on continued outgassing, solar heating, and gravitational tugs from nearby planets. In fact, just a slight shift of a few arc seconds could mean the difference between fiery impact and harmless flyby. What complicates matters is that interstellar comets behave differently from local ones. Their chemistry, structure, and fragmentation patterns are poorly understood. Two, I slash Borisov, for example, unexpectedly broke apart as it neared the sun. Could three I slash ATLAS do the same, scattering fragments instead of striking? That possibility only adds to the tension. The only certainty is this. By mid-2026, the comet will either scrape past Mars or slam into it, and Webb's observations remain our most reliable guide. Whenever science headlines include the words collision course, public imagination runs wild. Social media has amplified claims that Mars is doomed, that NASA is hiding the truth, or even that 3i slash ATLAS is an alien craft deliberately targeting planets. Part of the panic stems from deja vu. When Oumuamua zipped past in 2017, its odd shape and acceleration triggered speculation about extraterrestrial origin. Now, with another interstellar visitor showing unexpected movements, conspiracy theories are inevitable. But scientists urge caution. While Webb's data reveals troubling deviations, the term collision course doesn't mean certain impact. It simply means the possibility can't be ruled out. Historically, predictions of cometary impacts often evolve as new data comes in. For example, comet Shoemaker-Levy 9 was confirmed to strike Jupiter in 1994, but only after months of refinements. The media's hunger for dramatic headlines has blurred the line between probability and certainty. Still, it's easy to see why the public is captivated. The idea of an alien comet smashing into Mars is both terrifying and thrilling. It forces us to confront how vulnerable planets really are in the cosmic shooting gallery we call home. Beyond the fear lies extraordinary opportunity. If 3i slash ATLAS collides with Mars, it will be the most scientifically valuable cosmic event in living memory. Imagine. Rovers like Perseverance, still roving the Martian surface, capturing seismic waves from the impact. Orbiters measuring atmospheric dust and water vapor injections. Even telescopes on Earth could witness a flash brighter than any supervolcano. The data would be priceless. We could analyze freshly exposed subsurface ice, learn about Mars's internal structure, and study the chemistry of an interstellar body in unprecedented detail. For astrobiologists, the event raises tantalizing possibilities. Could complex organic molecules from another star system be deposited on Mars? Could they mix with Martian ice to spark prebiotic reactions? It would be a natural experiment in panspermia, the theory that life spreads between worlds via comets and asteroids. Even if the comet misses, the flyby itself allows Webb, Hubble, and Mars-based spacecraft to capture unique data on its composition and behavior. In short, whether it hits or not, 3i slash ATLAS has already transformed from a curiosity into a Rosetta Stone for understanding the universe beyond our sun. For decades, Mars has been humanity's proving ground for space exploration. Billions of dollars, countless missions, and even future dreams of colonization hinge on its stability. An interstellar comet impact could jeopardize much of that. Satellites like MAVEN and the Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter could be damaged by debris or dust clouds. Rovers could be buried under layers of ejecta or rendered useless by darkened skies. Future crewed missions, already in planning stages for the 2030s, might face a transformed and hostile surface. Yet, there's another side to the story. If 3i slash ATLAS reshapes the Martian climate, injecting heat and moisture into its atmosphere, it could ironically accelerate the planet's suitability for human settlement. Scientists have long debated terraforming Mars. What if nature delivers the first blow on its own? Still, the gamble is huge. Humanity may witness either the loss of decades of robotic work or the birth of a warmer, wetter Mars. 
Either way, the Red Planet will never be the same, and every space agency is now recalibrating strategies in anticipation of what may come next year. In the coming months, astronomers will refine three i slash atlas's trajectory with relentless precision. Every telescope capable of tracking it will be pointed skyward. The Hubble, giant ground observatories in Chile and Hawaii, and of course Webb itself. NASA has already hinted at contingency plans, deploying orbiters to safer positions and prioritizing data collection over risk to hardware. Meanwhile, ESA and other agencies are considering joint missions to capture high-resolution images of the comet before the encounter. By late 2025, we should know with near certainty whether Mars will be struck or spared. If impact is confirmed, the event will be live-streamed worldwide, a front-row seat to interstellar violence. Some scientists even argue for deploying seismometers on Mars specifically to record the shock waves. For humanity, the outcome matters less than the lesson. The universe is dynamic, unpredictable, and filled with wanderers like 3i slash ATLAS. While we watch Mars, we are also reminded of Earth's vulnerability. If such an object ever had our planet in its crosshairs, would we be prepared? For now, the red planet stands as the test subject in a cosmic experiment we never signed up for, but cannot look away from. So, is Mars doomed? Not yet. The James Webb Telescope has raised alarms, but it has also gifted us the chance to witness the unimaginable. 3i slash ATLAS is more than a comet. It's a messenger from another star system, carrying ancient secrets in its icy core. Its trajectory may end in fiery impact, carving a new scar into the Martian face, or it may glide past, leaving us with only data and wonder. Either way, it forces us to confront how fragile planets are in a universe filled with cosmic wanderers. For explorers, it's a story of risk and discovery. For scientists, it's a laboratory beyond imagination. For humanity, it's a reminder. We are not alone in the cosmos. Visitors from other suns are real, and sometimes they don't just pass by quietly, they come dangerously close. As the countdown to 2026 continues, all eyes remain on Mars. Will it be the stage of a celestial catastrophe or a near miss that leaves us thirsting for more? Only time and the relentless gaze of Webb will tell. Until then, the red planet's fate hangs in the balance between destruction and revelation. Whether or not 3i slash ATLAS collides with Mars, its arrival has already changed the way we see our place in the universe. For decades, humanity has gazed outward, searching for exoplanets, galaxies, and distant signals. But sometimes, the universe comes to us. Interstellar visitors like Oumuamua, Borisov, and now Atlas remind us that the cosmos is not static. It is alive with motion, and our solar system is not an isolated island. We are part of a galactic traffic system, one that occasionally delivers ancient ice, rock, and perhaps even organic material from other suns straight to our doorstep. For scientists, this means treasure data that can't be found in any lab. For the public, it is awe and unease. If Mars can be threatened, so too can Earth. That realization forces us to ask uncomfortable questions. Do we have the technology to defend ourselves? Can we redirect or destroy a comet on a collision course? Or must we simply watch, powerless, as cosmic dice are rolled? In the end, 3i slash ATLAS is more than a comet. It's a reminder of both our vulnerability and our potential a cosmic messenger urging us to prepare, explore, and never stop looking skyward.